All right, so our second signing on transfer deadline day is Jan Vednarek from Southampton on a one-year deal uh, as a loan. I think it was something we all knew was going to happen, but I don't think anyone expected it to be on this day. Uh, we've left, yeah, it's, we've left it too late. To be fair, I mean, it's not at, at the end of the day. It's all dead on. It's not a signing that really impresses me, but it's something we've had to do. Um, if Diego Carlos wasn't injured, we wouldn't be looking at him at all. But at the end of the day, it makes sense. Um, I'm glad that we haven't bought him because that would make absolutely no sense. Uh, this is a guy who's obviously been on Southampton's bench for a while now. And, you know, Southampton are a good outfit in the Premier League. I mean, defensively, I think they've been quite good this season. Um, not been the best, but they've been quite good under Ralph Hazenhutl. And, you know, obviously Benderick will add something to our defence. I think he will get a few starts here and there. I don't think... He might start against Man City, but I can tell you, uh, Ezri Conza will not be starting against them because, you know, he's made too many mistakes. And I think Callum Chambers has literally done nothing wrong. So he should be starting as well as Mings. I thought Mings was actually our you know, main man last night. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy uh, Ben Rick has come to Villa. Um, you know, it's not obviously, as I said before, it's not something that really excites me, but it's had to be done and I'm glad we haven't bought him. And also today, Tim Irakbunen has gone to QPR on loan, which I'm really happy about because he, you know, he's going somewhere where he knows the manager. Not too well, but he's, he's been around him for a few months. Uh, and he's going to a side that has really, really developed, you know what I mean? It's like with a really good manager, Michael Beal, a great side trying to get the top six. And I do believe they will achieve promotion this season. And if you add Tim Irakbunen to that side, someone who needs game time, you know, the Premier League's very demanding. He has got a few starts in the Prem. But the championship, I do believe he will get an absolute load more. But I'm really happy with that one transfer. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about Jan Benderek to Villa. Do you think he's a good option? Do you think he will, you know, hit the ground running? In my opinion, I think he'll be one of them. It's just a bit of a slow start, but he will probably end up being uh Tyra Mings's, you know, centre back partnership, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, you know, Southampton fans, what do you think about this transfer? And uh, yeah, look, I have, I've still got this little feeling that we're going to be signing someone else today. I'm not too sure who it'd be. You know, we've been linked to like, Lucas Moura, Conor Gallagher, uh, Ismail Sars come out again. Don't think any of them will happen. Um, and someone from Marseille, I believe. But I, I've got this little feeling that we might be signing someone. But yeah, uh, up the villa, up the pride of the villa. If there is anything else that comes out today, we'll be doing the video. So yeah, see you later.